an artist. I'm Katie, I'm an expat in Sweden, and I believe in vulnerability, community, and authenticity. On this channel, I vlog, run, and have conversations. I hope you'll stick around. Maxi Arena! Morton! Are you psyched, Fifi? Are you psyched? <laughs> oh. oh, happy day! Oh, happy day! And Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay. <laughs> You don't care about needles, huh? Uh, I don't care for them. <laughs> but I can handle this. Yes, indeed. I hope. Oh, I'm really glad that it was over with <clears throat> I'm really glad that it was over with fast because I was starting to get nervous waiting for the needle to come in and it felt like a pinch and it felt like an extended squeezing pinch and then it was out and it still kind of feels kind of tight and pinchy but it wasn't so bad. It wasn't as bad as, you know, having getting a tattoo, having a C-section. I know I can deal with pain. <sighs> it's been about 23 hours. It's still sore. I did not sleep on this arm. I usually am moving from arm to arm when I'm going to bed, but I stayed on this one, so I didn't sleep that great. But oh well, it's fine. It's just annoying and I feel like I can't reach too far high up and I need to like reach for things with this arm. It's so bizarre to me that this vlog is going to do better than a conversation that I had with a truly epic person and I just don't know how I feel about that. This vlog of me talking about getting my arm jabbed. I just, I felt so sad yesterday when I was thinking, when I was just, every time I was noticing how few views my conversation with Leland Sklar is getting. He's such a cool guy and I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Went for a ride in my bike, trying to trying to feel some wind. It's been freaking hot, and I had this breakthrough thought. Ow, guys, it's loud. It's a bad squeak. Don't do bad squeaks. One million horrible squeaks later. Having sensitive ears really sucks sometimes. <clears throat> So, let me try this sentence again. I was trying to talk myself down from feeling horrible. And then I had a really, like, who thought of, I'm really glad that my rent doesn't depend on how well a video performs. Because that's a whole other layer of pressure I can't even imagine having. I'm glad that we're managing to make things work with the government help Morton's getting from studying and the editing work that I'm getting and when we have to borrowing money from the in-laws. Eventually we'll get out of debt from them, but that's life. That's that's the realness. I started I've been like watching these Brad Mondo videos. I don't know why I would never do my own hair, but it's just something like seeing people like either do a really bad job and he's happy for them or do or do a really bad job and he's terrified and uh, stop, 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 stop. Or if they're doing a real good job, he's like, yes, go, you got this. It's like so addicting. 
and I found a and he read a quote in there, and he was doing this con doing this makeover on his twin brother, and I was like, oh boy, I needed to hear that. I wrote it down. Where is it? I finally found it. Oh. Success consists of going from failure to failure without a loss of enthusiasm. Winston Churchill. That's an intriguing perspective. What do you think? Um, like all clever little quotations, it's uh, an oversimplification, but it still has a lot of truth in it. Okay. Why? Because I'm a freaking failure. No. It's hard to stay enthusiastic. What, what are you talking about? If my, my conversation videos just don't do well at all most of the time. My video with Leland scores like under 20 views. I'm so sorry. Like that doesn't say anything about the quality of your work. I hardly ever wear jewelry these days, but my kids made this, so it's perfect. Also, it's gonna be, I think it could be a really good fidget toy. And I like how it sounds and I like how it feels. And I'm kind of collecting like a weird little person, all the things that I like, how they feel and how they, and how I can fiddle with them. I've never spent money on fidget toys, but I just, my random little collection grows. My mind is honestly a little bit blown right now. This encouragement that I got from Mirna that it's okay to feel my feelings. Sometimes it's the most simplest thing that you need to hear and then allow yourself time to ruminate on it. And time is never something I've been very good at giving myself because I get bored way too fast. I'm like, we gotta get going, come on, got stuff to do. And it was like so many years of this chaos I was living in in Covenant Players of, I don't have time to do things better. I just have to learn my lines and make these calls and find a place to sleep and la 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 And I was in a constant state of stress and I like, I'm drawn to the stress. And I was disappointed in myself for feeling sad, like that was a failure in itself. Like, no, Katie, you've told a million other people that it's a marathon. So you don't look at numbers. You don't get, you don't, you don't, you try not to do that. Telling yourself not to feel is like as dumb as saying, oh, you don't feel hungry or no, you don't need to go potty, you know? Yes, I have small kids. I say potty instead of bathroom. You don't do that. You have to eat. You have to go when you gotta go. <laughs> it's not gonna turn out well. <laughs> I was sitting with myself, telling myself what I was doing a good job at. And liking myself. Liking who I am. Appreciating the things I'm good at. And I hope that you can like yourself today too. And you can remind yourself of what you are good at. So much crying in this vlog! Ah! Ah! you're here for. You're here for the hugs and the nostrils of death.